Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with former Patriots tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we are going inside the Patriots playbook. We'll look at Sunday's opponents, the Houston Texans, number one seed in the AFC. Big one, and we're going to look at the Texans' defense. That's where it starts for them, mm -hmm. and it starts with this guy, J.J. Watt, uh, their defensive lineman who is on his way to possibly being NFL Defensive Player of the Year, mm -hmm. became the first player in NFL history ever to record at least 15 sacks and 15 passes defense in a season uh, this past weekend against the Lions. This is actually, excuse me, uh, against the t Titans. This is actually a play two weeks ago against the Lions, a long distance, third and 17, kind of shows off what the Patriots are going to have to deal with up front. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. That's the key. Here, he's going to be right here, number 99. We need to find him all the time. Where is he on the football field? This is a guy that creates a lot of problems. But I think when you have a player like this, what he allows um, everybody else to do is have one-on-one -on -one matchups. Here's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Here's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with this guy right here, and that's what you're going to have. And then generally they want to try to double, but you'll have some teams that will now move linebackers and now get them over here so we can get him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And when you get him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, he's going to win most of the time. And what you see is they want to get guys upfield. They want to get guys in one-on-one -on -one matchups because what, this, what, what J.J. Watt is, you know, he's able to do, he's able to p bull rush guys. And see, when you have pressure coming off the edge here, if you're the quarterback, you can just step up a little bit. But because he plays an inside technique, you know, depending on where they line him up, whether they line him up in a gap or they line him up over a guard, when you put him inside, he's able to now push that pocket. So the quarterback's not able to step up and throw and get into the throw. And, you know, that's the, that's the hardest thing for a quarterback, especially a guy like Tom Brady, where, you know, he's not the most mobile guy in the pocket, but if you can get, he can feel the outside rush, has the ability to kind of step up a little bit. But the problem he has is when you put guys in his face. Now, that's when every quarterback has a tough time. But when you have a guy like J.J. Watt, it allows you to do a lot of different things. It gives guys the opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one matchups. And he's just... Uh, just a very, very talented player. And then, if you do do a good job on him, kind of stone him at the line of scrimmage, he does a tremendous job of reading the quarterback's eyes, has a great vertical leap, jumps up and knock, and, and, is, and is able to knock the football down. You know, the, the Texans have had some injuries. If they can yep. get it blocked up front, yep. they should have uh, the ability to make plays downfield. We've seen teams do that against the Texans this year, especially as yep. the injuries have mounted. But the key, the key thing is here is J.J. Watt, you know, they like to line him up over the right guard. And who is that right God? You know, you, you, <laughs> who knows this week? <laughs> exactly. And I think that becomes the biggest question. There's a question mark right here on who this guy is. And you don't want that question mark when you got a guy of this magnitude lined up in front of that guy. I mean, but you know, the Patriots have done a good job all year as far as protecting Brady. You know, we'll see if, you know, maybe uh, the Texans steal a little bit out of the Miami Dolphins playbook and say, hey, let's see if we can do some of the things because Miami was successful getting to getting to Brady so but he's the guy you want to key on it all starts with him up front find him yeah all right sounds good should be a great one on Monday night at uh, Gillette Stadium so thanks Jermaine thanks everybody for tuning in we'll see you next week